Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Last time we left off, it seems that Miles and Kay finally escaped that room, and now, uh, I guess we're just gonna continue on with, uh, this whole entire investigation regarding the kidnapping, and, and, well, yeah, just all this stuff that's going on. Now Interval, Interpol is supposedly involved, because we're talking to Agent Shilong Lang, whatever, and he was being kind of, you know, kind of rude to us, so... Uh, I guess we'll see what we can figure out now, now that we actually finally escaped. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a, that was kind of funny to see Edward slide down the thing like that. Okay, it looks like it stopped raining for now. Yeah, and thank goodness, you have no idea how hard it was raining earlier. Mr. Edgeworth! I'm only assuming, yeah, there we go. I'm so glad to see you managed to escape, sir! I was so stressed out here, I thought that my heart was going to give out. Do I have to come shoot my ass? What in the world that is? Well, that's, uh, um... What is he talking about? Oh! Count off! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 98, 99! Shifu! All 95! Shifu? Whatever. All 99 members are here and kind of counted for, sir! Who the hell are you? <laughs> what the heck do you think you're doing counting my cubs off like that? Every person is a fallible human being, you get me? Yet everyone has a name that their parents give, gave to them. Not one, not, not one is a two or a three. Everyone, regardless of age or rank, is number one. Got it? Shifu! Shifu! You are Agent Lang, I take it. You infidel! Oh my, infidel, really? How dare you dress our Shifu so rudely! <sighs> Lang Zi says, A cub who disrespects others soon feels a dis disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't ever forget to show your proper respect towards another person! Sheena. Sheena? I don't know, I'm, I'm messing up these names. This isn't much, but please accept my card. Oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. Actually, I think it's a, it, that's a Japanese custom. Like, you know, you had to, to hold out the card in both hands, bow, and give it to them, present. That's just a culture thing, I believe, anyway. I don't know where I thought I learned that somewhere. Whatever. You all see that just now? That is the proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep that in mind, you'll get a far in life. Got it? Ah, that's right. Francisca did warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the Republic of Zing Fa. Apparently, this man has the highest success re arrest rate in the, in, the, um, in the organization. Agent Lang, why exactly is an Interpol agent involved in this clearly domestic case? That's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. How is it not? I've heard a rumor or two about you. You saw the murder occur during a flight home recently, right? Ha! But you sure took a while just to arrest one little flight attendant. How pathetic. Uh, how dare you say that about Mr. Andor? Are you saying you could have solved it faster, pal? The comedic relief jumps to the aid of his master. How cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is if I had been there, no one would have died. I would have solved the entire case and Agent Hicks would still be with us here today. Agent Lane knew yesterday knew yesterday's victim, Agent a a Acby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm about to take my revenge. Agent Hicks was investigating the smuggling ring with Francisca and a third person. This must be the man she was talking about. In that case, you should understand how I feel as a, as a kidnap to someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. Oh, that's new. This isn't your neatly trimmed courtroom of Eden, you know. Eden, you're out in the wilderness now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. No hard feelings, but why don't you go back to your courtroom now, pretty boy? You! You dare to mock the court?! I do, and I don't need the help of a fli uh, filthy prosecutor. Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likes of you that's distorted today. Who uses the edge of the filthy to describe a prosecutor? And why? Why do I feel such an intense loathing em emanating from him? Seriously, it's like he, he he respected us 
you know, when he, when he gave us his card, now he hates us again. It's like, pick one. All right, then. Good job in a perimeter around Great Gatewater Land. Now just find me the kidnapper and bring the punk to me. Dismissed. Sir! Holy crap, they just... Yeah. Now that, Mr. Prosecutor, you just sit tight right here and don't cause any trouble. Understand? Wait! Mr. Edgeworth? It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here? And completely out of the blue at that. I suppose I'll have to ask Detective Gumption to fill me in on that. Well, that is, uh... Yeah. Wow. So... Wow, yeah, I wonder... So yeah, it seems like we can't move anywhere because there's no, like, green areas, and these cops are probably going to get in the way, so... I guess we can talk with, with Kay and Gumshoe here for a little bit. Man, I can't calmly do any stair stealing at all with that detective around. So this is not easy when there's many members of the law enforcement in the vicinity as well. It's alright, it's not like I'm in a hurry to steal just any old thing. Which, which is it? Do you plan to steal something or not? Quite the mystery of this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. Definitely. So what are you going to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Good question. Since Agent Lang holds the authority to investigate this case now, this makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on! You can't let that stop you! I'll even lend you a hand, so let's go! But you're a self-reported great thief, aren't you? I don't believe I can let someone of an unlawful nature participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm not just any ordinary great thief, I'm the Yadagarasu! As I said earlier, the Yadagarasu is after one and only one thing. And what is that one and only one thing? What is this one and only one thing, like I said, you're after? The Yadagarasu is only interested in one thing, and that is the truth. I see. It was seven years ago. There was a vigilante who threw the business world into a panic. Labeled mysterious and ph phantom-like, the Yadagarasu appeared and vanished at will. But we still don't know how much... We don't know much about this least ultimate goal. We do know the, the targets. The Yadagarasu like to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings of all sorts. Once the target was chosen, no dramatic calling card or announcement was sent forth. Instead, the chosen corporation was infiltrated without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media. Along with a card with the mark of a three legged raven. Looking back, I suppose we could call what the Yadagaras was stealing was the truth. Could this child really be the successor of the original Yadagarasu? But that can't be. Can it? That is weird. I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like she can do that, but then again, you, you never know. You never actually look, if you actually look at her a little bit. She does have the three-legged three raven mark around her scarf there, so it's a sign of the Yadagarasu. Then, also, like, her hairdo is kind of cool, and then she has, like, a huge, like, key um, in it, through her hair, kind of like Saitro Mel. Actually, speaking of key, keyblades, Kingdom Hearts, they all blend together, ah, uh, whatever. Oops, oh, there goes my, uh, jeez. I hate when my emulator options pop up like that. There we go, so let's talk to Gumshoe real quick. Great job, Detective. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. I... Sir! Aw, come on. He was being thankful, then he just... No. I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. But... But the case isn't lost yet, sir! I'm gonna show you just how much of a man Dick Gumshoe can be. Should I prepare the 21-gun salute now or later? Wow. Come on, Edgeworth, be a little nice to him. De uh, Detective, are you sure it was a precinct you called for backup? Of course, sir! I think I would know the number to my own precinct like the back of my hand! Then why did an Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? That, I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, that wolfman showed up out of nowhere, sir! Agent Lane definitely has an agenda, so the question is, what is he after? That is very true. Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask you about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um, 
Who is that? It's that girl over there, I mean. I'm Miss Edgeworth's assistant, Kay, Kay Faraday. What? Funny, I don't recall making you my assistant, Kay. Yeah, I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Me! I've been like the head since forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Ooh, boy, he really jumped at a chance to say, No, you're not assistant, I am. Whatever. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. Now, how can you say something so serious with that giant grin on your face, pal? Miss Edgeworth, we got a thief on our hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. I'm taking her in, getting her convicted, making sure she serves, serves out her sentence. Oh, come on, it'll be fun, like musical chairs. You better stay fast on your feet. No way! I won't! I will not lose the spotlight to you, little girl. Lance! Lance! Where are you, son? Ah, uh, this must be, uh, Ernest. Mr. Amano? Oh! Miles, my boy! I'm sorry, what is- like, you know, I was, I was gonna say this earlier, what the hell is wrong with your ears, man? Are those your ears? Something's up. I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair just after we, you've returned. For you, Mr. Amano, I gladly offer my assistance. After all, I have you to think for how well things turn out during my time abroad. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to that law office and had a chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. No, no, no. Think nothing of it. As you know, Manfred and I go way back. I consider a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. If you ever want to go overseas again, you just only need to ask. I, just, I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere in any, at any time. So who's the old man? He's the father to currently kidnap Lance Armano. Ernest Armano. Now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? Please, I miss my poor boy dearly. And I love how he's saying that while he's counting his money. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Armano. But, 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 hold on there! Then, what happened to all that money? I believe that one million dollars has been stolen and that the culprits are now on the run. What?! All that money! Poor old man. Don't you have anything you can give him to cheer up, cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Forgive me, Mr. Armano. I do feel bad, but, you know, whatever, we can just talk to him for a little bit. I was wondering if you could t uh, please tell me the details of the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A call came to my house. The receiver came to the sound of my son. Help me, Daddy! <sighs> I know this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Amato. You don't understand. He hasn't called me Daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish I had recorded him saying that. He definitely should have recorded that conversation. But not for the foolish sentimental, sentimental, sentimentalities of an old man. Jeez, these words—they're hard for me. Refresh my memory. What kind of person is Lance again? How will telling you about Lance help me get him back? Surprisingly, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationships and behavior. Well, very well then. Lance is my one and only son, and he turned 21 this year. He's very much like me, and, and when I was his age. Kind and very attractive. Wow. I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off him. Is there anything else about him you know of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Your butler? Yes, his name is Oliver Deacon. Uh, that must be a pun for something. I'm sure all these names are puns for something. It's, 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 a, it's a turning game, after all. He's been of our family for years now. He gets along so well with Lance, so I thought maybe he would know where my son is. Hmm, yeah, what? How? Okay, let's, let's talk a little bit more about this guy. Mr. Romano, could you please tell me a little bit more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? This butler, he's outstanding! He even serves as Lance's personal private tutor! He took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since his leave. What about his, his family and friends? They said they haven't seen him. I've tried everything I could think of, Miles. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. So even a person close to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Sounds like one name I better keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe! Yes, sir! Let's begin our investigation. 
Even if that Interpol agent holds the authority to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100%, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. I, Dick Gumshoe, pledge to stick by your side through thick and thin. Mr. Romano, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vowed to return Lance to you myself. Oh, I've never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. Alright, well, what are you waiting for? Let's do some investigating! If you think I'm losing to you, pal, forget it! I love how, like, they're quite like, they're competing now. So what should we examine first? Hmm... Thanks Agent Lane, we can't leave this area. The culprits were here until only very recently, which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us about how they escaped. Okay, let's get looking! Hey, you there! Who, me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Archer kick off this investigation! You imbecile! All prison detectives are now under Agent Lane's direct command! No way! I am not working for Wolf Boy! Mr. Archer, can't you do something? I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Good, now let's go! No! Boy, have I got the job for someone of your talents. Well, that was exciting. Okay. What? Can't you tell I'm all ready to get down to some detective work? You should go home. Your parents must be worried about you. Oh, come on! I felt like to be your assistant and you tried to ditch me? I don't recall offering you the position. Hmm. Then why do you, why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know. Like I said, I'm already still in the position of an assistant a while back. Ha! Huh. You're, you're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. You, that's the Yadagarasu way. You shouldn't speak so lightly with things you know nothing about. Fine, whatever, you win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But, it's, but the talented assistant K is gonna tag along no matter what you say. Even if she does turn out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. You might as well surrender and let her come along for a ride. Oh, I feel really bad for Gumshoe, but what can we do? So, next time, we're going to be going ahead and doing the investigation in this little area and seeing what we can figure out. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. I'll see you guys later.